Hi everyone, my name is Bonnie. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we are going to be doing a playthrough of a game that is currently on Kickstarter called Vivid Memories. This one's published by Floodgate Games. It plays two to four players and it's designed by two different designers, Brett Gilbert and Matthew Dunstan. And it's an abstract strategy game in which we'll be trying to formulate memories from our childhood. That's right. <laughs> yeah. It is definitely an abstract game. We're going to be uh, drafting tile fragments mm -hmm. and we're going to be trying to formulate those memories in order to keep them forever, right? Yes, to cherish them. And so as per usual, we are going to start with a teach and then go into our playthrough. But before we begin, we do want to mention that this is technically a prototype copy of the game. It is a high quality prototype, mm -hmm. but it is still subject to change in the final copy. And if you are interested in learning more about this game, there will be a link in the description below. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for our two player game mm -hmm. of Vivid Memories. As you can see, we have our brain. Your brain, my brain. <laughs> and we're going to be forming memories mm -hmm. with our brains as well as with our memory banks and all of these fragment tiles here where we're going to be forming synapses, right? Yeah, different memories. Connections. And so just to kind of give you the lay of the land, each player has their own brain here. Mm -hmm. And this is their player board where we are going to be taking fragments and placing into the various hexes in order to form connections. Mm -hmm. Each player also has their own memory bank that's going to allow us to do a few optional actions at the end of each round. And in the middle here, we have our spread of moment tiles as well as the different fragments that are placed. And these are all dependent on player count. Mm -hmm. And so in a two player game, we put out four moment tiles per round out of a stack of 20 total. And lastly, each player has their own secret aspiration tile and so on the opposite side of this is a specific color that we are going to score points for at the end of the game uh, if we have them in, in certain areas which we'll talk about later yep. and we also want to mention that there is a scoreboard it looks like this but we're going to keep this off screen because it is a uh, a little bit big <laughs> for our setup. Now the game is played over the course of three rounds. And so the way that it works is players are gonna be taking turns selecting fragment tiles from the middle here. And so on your turn, you're allowed to take either one, two or three fragment tiles, but they must be from the same end of this lineup. So if I wanted to take three tiles, they must all be of different colors and I have to choose which end to take them from. So I could do yellow, purple, and green if I wanted to, since they're all from this end of the board. And then all of the tiles that I take I must place into one single hex on my brain. Doesn't matter where I start from, I can plop them all here if I wanted to, but they must all go into the same hex. Alternatively, if you want to take two, then you must take two from the same color, again, starting from one end. So in this case, I could take these two yellow and place them anywhere on my board. Let's just put them here. And if neither of those options work for you, then you can choose to take one. If it were back to my turn, I could take this single tile here, but again, it must go into an empty hex. So if Naveen were to take a single tile in a future turn, he couldn't place it in this hex because right. there's already pieces. Mm -hmm. So then I could go ahead and place this here. And the special thing about taking a single fragment is you are then allowed to perform a rewire action, which essentially allows you to kind of move around some of the fragments that you have on your brain. Mm -hmm. And so when taking a rewire action, you must choose one hex. Let's just say if I were to choose this hex right here, and then you can move fragments into it or out of it. Right. As long as they're coming from adjacent hexes. Mm -hmm. So if I were to choose this hex, I could move these two tiles into it if I wanted to. No hex can contain more than three tiles. Mm -hmm. That is a hard limit. If during your turn, you completely empty a moment tile, then you take it because these tiles are double-sided. One side shows a specific uh, action that you'll be able to take at the end of the round, and the opposite side shows a scoring condition. So this tile says for each of the hexes that I have exactly one green and one blue fragment and no third one, so there's only two fragments in the hex, I'm gonna score four points. And so any of these moment tiles that I collect during the round, I'm just gonna put off to the side. And so players are gonna continue taking turns like this until all of the fragments as well as the moment tiles have been taken. Mm -hmm. Once that happens, then you move into the next phase, which is taking actions using your memory bank here. And so each person's memory bank shows four different types of optional actions that you can take during this phase, one time each and in any order. Mm -hmm. And so whenever you claim a moment tile, you have to cover up one of these actions and it's up to you which one to cover up, but it will make that specific action unavailable to you. Right. And instead, you may take the action on your tile, which we'll get into in a second. And so this action here allows you to remove any two fragments in one hex and you would replace it with one fragment of your choice from the supply. It mm -hmm. must go into the same hex space that you removed the other two from. Yep. So that's a nice way of kind of exchanging colors that you don't need. This action allows you to randomly take a tile from the bag 
and place it into any empty hex space. Right. This is a nudge action, which allows you to move one fragment into any adjacent hex space. So I could just literally move this one into here if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. This last one right here, this is the swap action, which basically allows you to take two tiles from adjacent hexes and swap them. So in this case, Monique can take, let's say this green, and swap it with this yellow. Moment tiles will have one of two different types of actions. They will either allow you to take a specific color fragment from the supply and place it into an, any empty hex space on your board, yep. or they'll allow you to do this, which is removing a specific fragment color from a hex and replacing it with those two specific colors. So in this example, it's removing a yellow from a hex and then putting in a purple and a blue into that same hex. And so if I were to do that action with this hex, I would only be able to choose one between mm -hmm. those two colors because no more than three. Right. And so when moment tiles are placed up here in your memory bank, they provide you that different action but they're going to block that space until you're able to score it. So the way that it works is once you take the action on the moment tile, it's gonna get flipped over and now the tile is eligible to score. If you never take the action of this moment tile, then it is going to stay on your memory bank, clogging up that space until you do. Right. And you won't be able to score points for the opposite uh, side of the tile until you take that action. Then we go into scoring and there's gonna be several different ways that we're going to score, starting with these moment tiles. So like we were mentioning earlier, this is the tile that scores me four points for each hex that has a green and a blue in it. Obviously on my board, I don't have that configuration at all, which means I can't score this. And so this tile is gonna stay on my memory bank until I'm able to score it. Right. If I had placed this blue here, um, either during the round or by taking any of these memory bank actions, then I'm now eligible to score this tile, even though I'm only gonna score it once. And so if I would prefer to wait until a later round so that I have more of these on my board, I'm not allowed to. Yeah. You must score the tile if you can. If it's eligible, you must score it. Yes, and so I would score four points and then I would finally remove this from my memory bank uh, clearing up that space again. After scoring moment tiles, then we're going to score threads. And so obviously this is kind of an abysmal example, but if you can see around the edge of the board, there are these uh, colors. And so what we're gonna be trying to do here is we're going to try to place these fragment tiles so that we connect same colors on different edges of the board. And so let's just take green for an example. If my board looked like this, I have made a thread of green fragment tiles because I'm connecting this green section over here with this one. And so the way that that works is I would count up all the hex spaces that include a uh, contiguous area of these green fragments, and then I would multiply it by the number of these um, ends that I'm connecting that were not connected previously. And so in this example, I have one, two, three, four, five times two. So that would score me 10 points. 10 points, yep. Yeah. Whenever you score a thread, you must remove a fragment from that end to fill in the space just like that. So that in the future, if I were to make another green thread, these two would not count as multipliers. And these slots or clusters that you're gonna be placing the fragments into, these are called core memories. So after we're all done scoring all of our threads, we're going to score all of the core memories that have been completed. And so in this example, I have just this one that's been completed because it is a single open slot and I filled it. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna score one point and I'm gonna do this for every round. Right. This cluster here requires all three of these colors, but it will score me 18 points, which is a good chunk of points. But it is harder, of course, to complete. When everyone's done scoring their core memories, then we are going to set it for the next round and we begin again. And so the first player marker will also rotate mm -hmm. every round. Yep. At the end of the third round, we're going to do all that scoring like we just mentioned, and then we're going to score our aspirations. Each player's aspiration tile looks like this. And so I had a uh, yellow as my color and Naveen has red. red. And so there are three different ways that our aspiration is going to score. I'm gonna score one point for every yellow fragment that I have that are in hexes. So if I have multiple fragments in one hex, that'll mm -hmm. score multiple points. Yep. I will also score two points for each of my yellow fragments that are in these uh, core memories around the board. Yep. And then five points for every cherished moment or otherwise the moment tiles that I've scored that has yellow in it. Right. So it's kind of in my best interest to try to take as many of these yellow moment tiles to as I can. To for those, yep. Mm -hmm. And then whoever has the most points at the end of the game wins. And that is essentially how you play Vivid Memories. Mm -hmm. And so we're just gonna do a little bit of cleanup and then we're gonna get started with our playthrough. Okay, so we have reset the board. We just need to figure out who goes first. Rock, Ready? paper, scissors? Yes. Oh, okay. you, it's been a while. <laughs> you got first, there you go. I got it. Okay, so I have the first player marker. Yeah, so we have our aspiration tiles all ready to yeah. go. And uh, we're all set up here with our four moment tiles. Naveen, take it away. Take it away. Okay, I'm gonna take the option of taking these three colors right here. All right. So they're all gonna have to go in the same hex. It can be anywhere 
Let's put them here. Starting off strong, huh? Strong, yeah, very <laughs> strong. Okay, we'll put these three in this spot. All right, so now for me, all right, so I think I'm gonna do something similar. I'm gonna take these three, blue, green, and red. Mm -hmm. And so I'm gonna put them right here so that it is next to my core memory that scored me one point. And if you notice, uh, each of our boards have a different mm -hmm. core memory tile right there. And because I emptied this moment tile, I take it. I'm gonna place it right there and choose what to cover up later. Okay, I think I'm gonna take the two colors that are the same here, these two greens. Ah, I was uh, eyeing those. I know you were. <laughs> you stinker. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a red, yellow, and purple. Mm. So I'm technically taking from here. Right, <laughs> right. Onward. Yes. And I'm gonna place them all in here. And I take another moment tile. This is wow. like, uh, huh, I have to make sure that these two work for me or else I'm yeah. putting myself in trouble. Okay, I'll go uh, purple and blue and just take these two. Well, uh, you can't. Oh yeah, they have to be, <laughs> the, yes, that's right. It would have to be two purple, Yeah, that's two right. purple or... Uh, I always make that mistake. Or one of them where you can take the yellow, red and one color. I could do that as well. Okay, yeah, let's do that. I will do a yellow, red, and let's do the purple. Ah, yellow, red, and purple. So you get this moment tile, and it looks like it's the same as mine. So we pillow fort. Together. Yeah, we made a little fort. <laughs> All right, so let's put these. Uh, let's put these here. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So now there's only uh, purple and blue left on this moment tile, which means I'm only allowed to take one. So then I'm going to go ahead and take this purple. Mm. I'm going to take the purple and place it. Let's go here. Okay. And so this is going to allow me to take a rewire action. Yep. So I'm going to choose this hex, and I'm going to move just one tile out of it. This purple one, I'm going to move over here. Okay. So they're both together, and that's it. Okay, so that forces me to take this one. So yep. I will take my blue and place it here, taking this tile. And I also get to do a rewire because of this. So I'm going to choose this hex right here, and because the scoring condition wants me to have green and blue together, might as well bring this into here. Interesting. Yeah. All right, that's it. So we have completed the first round of, of drafting fragments. Right. And so now we're going to start taking our actions with our memory bank. But first, we have to choose where to place these moment tiles. Okay. So go ahead and block off two spaces. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to place mine here and then this one here. Me too. I'm going to do both of these. Oh, you did use uh, Yeah. I, I, yeah. All right, I'm doing my both of my ends here. Okay. And since uh, technically you're first player, would you like to take your actions first? Okay, so the first action I'm going to take is this one, grabbing one randomly from the bag. Uh, we're just using other player pieces in order to symbolize that we've taken some of these actions. Sometimes it's easy to get mistaken. Yes, so you can only take them one time each. Exactly, so, so I'm going to take this one, and hopefully I get something that is usable. Good luck. It is blue. So you have to put that into a, an empty, empty hex, hex space. And this part of the round you can technically do simultaneously, but if there's something that, that uh, is kind of in limited supply or something, then you go and play order. Right, exactly. So I'll just put this here. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, uh, ooh. I'll just put this over here so we can kind of tuck them together. Okay. All right. And then uh, the next one I'm going to do is I'm going to do this action here. So I'm going to remove a purple. Yep. Uh, and that goes into the supply. And then I get to replace it with a green and a yellow, but because we're uh, in this situation here, I will replace it with a green from the supply. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And by situation, he means he's going to be maxed out mm -hmm. at three, so he can only choose one. Yep. So this marker is going to indicate that, but this will flip over, so that's actually its own indication. But I'll just go ahead and put it on top. Okay. Okay. I'll do uh, this one next, which is a swap. So I'm going to swap this green and this red. Okay. Like this. Very good. Symbols out. And that means I will be able to score this at the end of this round because wow. I have the green, yellow, purple there. You are... Uh, I'm working it. Yeah, you're working it. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> you're then, wheeling and dealing. I am. So that, that was this action here. And then my final action is this one, which is basically just take a green and then flip it over. So I'll take my green from the supply, not from the bag. This gets flipped over and then I get to place it out. Let's go ahead and place it. So I kind of want to connect my green somehow. So let's go down here. Let's go down here. Actually. That's better. <laughs> okay. All right, and that marks. It's on its own uh, lonely island. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully we can we can bring it all together. All right. So back to me. So I'm going to start with this action here, which allows me to take a random one from the bag. I'm looking for a very specific color that <laughs> very specific color may or may not have uh, taken from me. Yes. <sighs> it's green. 
it's green. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you need green to score on both of your tiles. I really needed green. Wow. So I'm going to place it here. And so that is this action. Interesting. Then I'm going to nudge. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to nudge this green into that space, just like that. Okay. And that's that action. And then I'm going to take this tile's action, which allows me to remove a purple okay. and take a green and yellow from the supply Okay. to place into the same hex. Um, if I were better at this game, I would try to save these a little bit longer so I can score multiple hexes, yeah. but unfortunately it's not going to happen for me They, they <laughs> right do now. clog this whole area up though, so you kind yes. of just got to score them sometimes. Yeah, that's the part that worries me, the fact that they clog this area. So yeah. Because I was able to do that, actually, I'm going to flip this over, so that's going to get scored. And then the last one is a very similar one to this, except it makes me remove a green in exchange for a red and a purple. Yeah, that's perfect. In that same hex. Wow. So I'm only going to be able to score these each once, but at least they are out of my hair, mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Yep. I mean, at least they are now forever cherished memories, memories is what yes. the real the real uh, okay. intent is here. Okay. And it looks like you're so. working on this little red ribbon right here, so that's pretty good. I am. I did miscalculate a little bit. For some reason, I thought there was still going to be a green here so I could no. make a thread. Uh -uh. But how could there be? I moved it up, you right? Moved I moved it up. It up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> so now starting with you, would you like to score yeah. your moment tiles? You do get to flip over your tiles. Oh, I do. you were successful yes. doing that action. I, I, do, I do get to score that. Okay, sure. Let's right. score the moment tiles. So this one right here, it's going to score once it's a uh, blue green configuration in one hex so unfortunately i could not get this going right here oh that is okay but i get four points for that okay and then this one right here uh i get six points because i have the green yellow and purple green yellow purple so it's another six so i get a total of 10 points perfect so naveen is is in the lead right now mm -hmm. and then those get to you get to remove those moment tiles from yes. your memory bank i get the free and stuff up they are now cherished memories they so are. you Wow, you've you've totally constructed this pillow fort into your own uh, your own throne. Is that what that is? Yeah, yeah. It looks like it. <laughs> and you went to space. Yeah. Good job. All right, so uh, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to score this one once. So it's the green, yellow, purple, which I have one hex worth of. So it's six points. Okay. And then I'm going to score this one as well, which is the red, red, purple, green. And I only have one instance of that, which mm -hmm. is here. So that's going to score me another six points. So right now, it's uh, looking Look, like 10, yeah. 10 to 12. 10 to 12, yeah. And then these both will also become uh, cherished memories. And wow, I went, I, went after, I went up after a beast, I guess. <laughs> so I'm just going to tuck this, these over here under sure. my aspiration yeah, might as well. tile. Now we technically score threads. Mm -hmm. I have not created any threads that I can see. Have same. you? Same. No, I'm in the same boat. Okay, so we're going to yeah. skip that. Totally. And we would also now technically score our core memories, but also neither of us have those. So yep. we are going to uh, set up for the next round and begin again. Uh, would you like to pass the first player token? Sure, you are now the first player. Thank you. And four new tiles will come out. Four new tiles go out. We are in the second round. And uh, four four fragments per tile. Right. Ooh. Sand Looks castle. like we have playing on the beach, going fishing, riding a bike, maybe for the first time. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> and another one of those going up against the tree that turns out to be a beast. Right. Right. <laughs> in our, I think it's like a imaginary, yeah. in your imagination, it was a beast. Cool. I went up against it with a stick. That's awesome. All right. We are all set up. So starting with me, first, yeah. let's clear these off. I'm going to start by just taking one fragment because okay. this is the only green fragment that's in the lineup here. And uh, I do want to score a thread at some point. Wow, so you gonna, really want it, huh? Yeah, I do. I'm going to place it right here, and I'm going to do the rewire action. So I'm just going to move. I'm going to choose that hex and move mm. it over mm. into that spot. So at least I have one thread. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I have a single thread going for me. I really wanted that green, Monique. <laughs> well, maybe you can get lucky. Maybe. With that. Shoot. Or some of these moment tiles, if you're able to collect them. I think mm -hmm. just this one will get you a green. Okay, I'll take all of this here, and I will accept this tile and i'll place them all here interesting so i got something working here you're on your way to making a blue thread I, i'm trying not quite not quite <laughs> i do have this though okay i'm gonna go ahead and take these two reds okay i'm gonna place them both right in here just two reds in one hex right there all right, seeing as I need to score a yellow-green together, I'm just going to take this yellow by itself, ah. and then I'm going to toss it in with this green here. I'm doing a rewire because I only took one. Okay, I'm going to take this single purple. Mm -hmm. So it's going to clear off this moment tile, so I'm going to I'm going to claim that moment on the second, but I'm going to place this right here, giving me a rewire action, and I think I'm just going to choose this hex and place this right in there. Nice. Just like that. So this tile goes to me, 
and it is back to you. Now I really wish I had left my other tile uh, on my memory bank. Oh yeah, that's the same same color you need to score, right? That yeah. pattern. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I will take this yellow by itself. Just Pla one. Yeah, place it here and then force a rewire because I know I'm going to score it in the next round or at the end of the round. Huh. So put that there. Okay, I'm going to take just this red mm -hmm. and place it right there. So we're making threads. Okay. And I could do a rewire. So I think I'm just going to kick this yellow out. Okay. Just like that. All right, you're moving stuff. I'm moving. Nice. Slightly. All right, well, that's perfect because you left blue-purple, which is exactly what this is to score. Oh, okay. So I'll take it as is. Blue-purple and? Uh, blue-purple and I will take a yellow as well. Okay. So I'm going to put these. You almost forgot that part. I almost did forget that part. <laughs> I said, sorry, not yellow. I will take a blue again. Yeah. You can't. Oh, yeah, it's blue three, cannot. Three it has different to be, colors. Yes, it has to be yellow. <laughs> has to be yellow, Naveen. <laughs> Okay, so I will put these here. there, mm -hmm. all in one. Just like all that. right. Okay, I'm gonna take just this purple, mm. and I'll place it. I'll just place it right there, right next to that one purple. Yeah. We're after the cheapies. Cheapies. The uh, this the lower scoring core memories because uh, our memory is not quite there yet. <laughs> yeah. I can technically do a rewire action, but I kind of like everything where they are. I just move this here, there. Now, yellow is that much closer okay. to forming a thread, even though there's a wall here of non-yellow. So Very nice. Now, which one would you like? Yeah, so I have to take only one because you cannot take two different colors. Correct. Even you take three different colors. <laughs> yes. Uh, I'll take the blue. Okay. So let's take the blue and I'll place the blue here. Right there. Are you going to do yeah. a rewire? Uh, yes, I will do a rewire. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on this spot here, and I'm going to take this yellow and green from here to go there. So that's perfect for me. Nice. Because that clears up this blue-purple, and that then opens up another yellow-green for nice. me right there. Very good. Yes. All right, so this leaves me with this last yellow. And where to put this? Um, yellow is like the one color that's not really working for me right now. Well, yellow and blue, I guess. So I think I'm just going to put it, I don't know, there. Okay. <laughs> it's just a little bit closer to breaking through that mm -hmm. wall. Yep. And then this moment tile goes to me. So that is the end of that. We are now going to assign these moment tiles. So what are you going to block off? I think I'm going to place mine right here. I'm going to block off these last two. Mm -hmm. So I can try my luck at a random and then do some switchy switchies. <laughs> I think I will block the random, actually. Oh, OK. And then, Not a fan of that, huh? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I will need the double single, so I'm going to put this here because you could always double single and get the same color back that you've kicked out. So, like, I could kick out a red and a purple mm -hmm. and then just bring back the purple. Yes, that's true. Mm -hmm. You can. You yep. can do the, the replace <laughs> with the same color, yes. Okay, so uh, starting with me, I'm now going to take my actions. Sure. Yep. So let's start by just finding out what this is. I'm going to take a random color from the bag. There is one color that I would ideally like to have. Call it out. I'm going to try to think it, Call it out. into reality. <laughs> purple! Ah, oh, it's blue. It's like the one color that I don't need. Uh, really? Blue has very little presence on my board right now. Well, it has to go into an empty spot. Yep. Well, I don't want to block that off for the purples. <laughs> that's the problem. I'm just going to place it right there. Okay. Right there. So that's that. I'm now going to do this action. The old two for one. The old two for one, exactly. I'm going to take these two out. And in its place, let's do another green. Another green. So there are two greens in there. Interesting. I think there was a right order to this, and I'm really worried that I'm messing it up, but let's hope that that's not the case. Okay. Uh, and now for these two, so this requires me to remove a red and turn in for a blue and green. So I'm going to do this one okay. for a blue and a green, please. So that's this. A blue and green, huh? Flip that over. Thank you. Solid. Yes. Yeesh. And then... I'm going to do this one, which makes me remove a green, nice. so I'll do this one, for a red and a purple. Oh, man. You're going to score a lot here. I'm going to try to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. And that's it. That is me. Go okay. for it. Very good. Uh, okay, so for me, uh, I will do this one first, which is a swap, So, or just a, a nudge. A nudge. Just a, a little nudge. nudge. I'm going to nudge this uh, purple out of here because that leaves me with another green-yellow. So I have one, two, three, four green-yellows nice. right in here. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be 16 points. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to do this one, which is that two for one. Yeah. So I'm taking out red and... Um, purple okay but i'm putting purple right on back in okay so, so it's technically like two for, one. for the purple yeah because uh i'm gonna score the the purples in uh oh blues. you're gonna score a lot too i'm trying to so that's that action that's this action so uh that's this one 
And then now um, these are just straight up, just take a blue and take a yellow. So we'll take a blue. And those both have to be in Separate empty places. hexes. Yeah. yeah. I'll place this blue here. Okay. And then this yellow, I don't know what I'm doing, Monique. That is a large thread forming. That is a, I'm trying to form a, a large thread. And the yellow, I will just tuck in place over here. Okay. So that's it. So those two flip over. Uh, yes, they do. Mm -hmm. All right, so now for scoring. So now we are going to score these first. And this moment tile is looking for a configuration of blue, green, and red. And I have two of those so right here. 12 points. So it's going to be 12 points for six points each. And so I'm at 24. 24. And this comes off because I have scored it. Nice. And then this one is for purple, red, and green. And so I believe I have two of those as well. Wow. Yeah, purple, red, green, purple, red, green, right there. So close to this one also. I know. Yeah. I, there was just not enough greens, no, so no. it wouldn't work it out. But so another 12. There's another 12. So 36 points total. So, yes, 36 for me. Okay. And this goes off. All right, so uh, let's score this one first. So it's uh, purple and blue next to each other. Purple and blue, purple and blue. So that's going to be eight points. Okay. And so then 18. Yep. And then this one right here, which is that uh, green-yellow configuration, one, two, three, four of them. Uh, times four, so another 16 points. 16. What is 16 plus 18? Uh, 34? 34. Wow, Ooh. this is close. We're at 34 and 36. 34 and 36. Very oh nice. Oh, my gosh. All right. So let's score our threads. Sure. I think we have threads this time. I think wow, you, you have a thread. Have I don't have one yet. You've covered a lot of ground, which is good and bad, yes. right? Because you're running out of empty hexes to Correct. place tiles into. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think I have two threads. Oh, this is unfortunate. It's so far away from the rest of the greens. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so greens first. I have this one thread here. Unfortunately, this is separated. Right. So it's only one, two, three times two. Because these are the two uh, core memories that it connects. So, so that's, that's going to be points. six points. Yeah. So now I'm at 42. Okay. And I must remove one from here to place right there. And this one I'm going to place right there. And then I think I also have a red thread. So it's connecting this one to this one. Yep. And so it's all of this. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six times two, which is 12 points. And so that is 54. Mm -hmm. And same thing. This one has to go here. And this one has to go here, which I don't even know if I'm going to complete this core memory, <laughs> but a girl can dream. Yes. Very good. <laughs> all right. And uh, you? No threads. Oh, no threads? No threads. Which means something is brewing for the final round. I'm trying. Right? I'm trying oh, too hard. bad. You didn't put the blue there. You, you know, I thought about it, and then I, I couldn't remember which one I, I put out here, so I just said, I'll just leave it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that'll definitely score next round, I think. If there's enough blue, because there's only so many blues in the bag. <laughs> That's right. Don't forget. We shall see. Okay, so now we score core memories, and for me, I just have these two. So it's one point each for a total of two points. And that's it. So we are right now, we're at Naveen with 34 and me with 56. Mm. So I'm going to pass this to you. Okay. First and player. we are going into the final round. It's only right. three rounds. Yeah. Okay. So these are the four. These oh, are the cute. four. Yeah. So this is, you are oh, uh, flying identical. a paper airplane. Yeah, two of them. Two of them where you're flying, flying a paper airplane. Getting some fruit. Yeah, at the, at the market. And fishing, the fishing one again. All right. And these four will go there. These are the next four for the fisher. All right. Let's see what goes to the market. Oh, I like the diversity in color. Yes. There's finally green. There's so so many more green fragments. You speak as if you need green, Monique. Um, are you saying that you don't have the green aspiration? All right. So this is the final round. This is pretty much, this is everything. So yeah, get it or go not. Go for it. Yeah. It is your turn. Oh, and let's clear these off. Oh, yeah. Because uh, we are starting a new. I'm impressed that we, we were able to score all of our moment tiles so mm -hmm. far. Yeah, it's tough nothing to do is, sometimes. Yeah, nothing has been clogging. Okay, I'll take a single yellow and okay. I'll place it here. So I'm finally forming a thread that goes end to end. And because of that, I get to do some uh, maneuvering. So I will move this blue into here. So now I've formed another thread. Oh, wow. So yeah, I did yeah. a double thread in just one turn. That is true. So you have to make sure that you don't out, out rewire, right? Because that is something that I did in the first round. Right. Okay, so back to me. I am going to... I'm going to take this solo yellow. Okay. And I'm going to place it in here. And then I'm just going to move it into here as my rewire. Mm. Just like that. That's it for me. So back to you. I like how in the first round we were not afraid to take three at a time. <laughs> and now we're like, I'm just going to take one. 
You know, I'm, I'm actually going to take three at a time because I see this blue right oh, wow. here I spoke that was soon. very needed for me. So uh, by me doing this, Fortunate. Uh, this allows me to connect another blue segment. So right now I have this blue connected to this blue connected to this blue right here. So it'll be a 3x on the hexes. Wow. That's the goal. Wow. So, yeah, this, you are about to score on I'm, that thread. I'm trying to. What are you thinking about? <laughs> what is this pondering. grand memory? I'm pondering. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take another solo yellow okay. and place this right there. So at least I have one thread. And for my rewire, I'm choosing this hex and okay. I'm going to kick some tiles out of it. So I'm going to kick this one out, move it into there. And then actually, I think I'll leave it at that. Okay. okay I'm going to take this solo green here place it here and then cause a rewire. And I'm gonna rewire this. I'm just gonna move this yellow into here, considering the fact that I need a yellow, red, and blue. Ooh. So I've made one uh, right there so I can at least score that once. Nice. Okay, well, I really kind of want this moment tile. So I'm gonna take these two and this red and you know, I'm just gonna place them. I'm not even gonna worry about this too much. I'm just gonna place them all over here just so I can have this purple thread going. Instead, I'm gonna place them here. I realize that I am trying to, so, well, actually I shouldn't say it out loud. <laughs> I'll tell you later. <laughs> All right, back uh, to you. you. Don't forget to get your tile. Oh yes, this is now mine. I went to the market. All right, I think I'm gonna take this single purple here, place it here and then cause a rewire, putting it into this position. And now I've connected these purples. Okay, I'm just gonna take just the blue. Mm. Just the solo blue. That was a hard decision. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna place it right there. And in doing so, I'm going to rewire. So I'm just going to move this red over into there. And that's it. So that was me. Back mm. to you. It's getting intense. <laughs> this is the last couple turns of the game. Okay, I'll take red. Uh, I'll take this green, yellow, and red. So wow. that forces this, and then you must take that. <sighs> that's horrible. <laughs> I'll just uh, tuck these down into this corner. I don't think it really does much, but that's me. I keep this. All right, so I have to take that, which is, which is very unfortunate because Navina's left me with some, some really, <laughs> really slim pickings. pickings. Yes. Okay, well, decisions have been made. I mm -hmm. think I'm going to have to forego this purple thread, unfortunately, which I guess is Ooh. fine because it would have only scored me one, two, three, four, five, six, ten, ten points. Ten points. Uh, oh, had you moved this over, I see. It's kind of a, a lot. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> I'm going to take this yellow. Put it there, I get a rewire action. So I'm going to, actually I will score the purple thread. Mm -hmm. I've made that decision. I'm gonna move this. So this is the hex I'm gonna to choose to rewire and I'm gonna put this in here. Yeah, you'll get the 10. And these two in here. Mm. Let's see what we can do with that. So that's it, then I take this and we are going to do our final scoring and taking actions yes. for the, the final time. So we're gonna place your tiles. I think I know I'm, where I'm gonna place I mine already. I know I definitely need this action and I think I need this nudge. There so and there. Fortunately, uh, I wish I could have all three, one, two, and three, but uh, that's too bad. Okay, so this will be right here. <laughs> that's way too bad. Dang. All right then, would you like to kick us off? <sighs> yeah, okay, so I'm gonna do this one here. This is gonna be a straight swap. So yep. this requires me to have a Blue, yellow, and red. That's right. So I want to get this green <laughs> moving. I could not think for a second there. That's going to go there. Maintaining this green connection, which is was important for me. Nice. So that was uh, this one. Yep. Okay, the next one is going to be a nudge in which I will nudge this blue over here. Okay. So that goes out. And then I'll do this one. Discarding this blue. Yep. But bringing in uh, yellow and red. Very good. And then I still maintained my blue. Your blue thread. Well, thread here. Yeah. yeah, that's going to be a nice payday. Yeah, so this will score twice then. And then those tiles get flipped. So this gets flipped, and then I still have to do this one over here. Uh, and that's discard a red, uh, and then, so I'm not going to discard these reds because they're going to score, and so is that one. So I'll just get rid of this red to put in a, I can either put a blue or a green in. So I mean, you technically, if you're not even going to score this, you technically don't even have to do that. Well, since I have a multiplier, I might as well put blue in to keep my hexes of that's blue true. going going further. Oh, so your that's aspiration worth... better not be blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and then this flips over. And that's that. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is this one. So this lets me take a red from the supply. Sure. Please. Thank you. I'm going to place it right there. It's an empty mm. hex. So that gets flipped over. 
And then I'm going to nudge this yellow nice. into there so that uh, oh, it's still a thread too. touching that side. Yeah. yeah, it still maintains the thread, but now I can score that multiple times. Then I think I'll do this one. So I'm going to turn in this red and green since they're not really doing much for me anyway. Sure. And I'm going to uh, turn them in for a blue. Blue. Which I'm actually just going to turn back in to activate this tile for a yellow okay. and a red. Gotcha. Yeah. So I really just did that so they could have the blue Some in magic. order to yeah in order to convert for the yellow red that'll go into this hex. Nice. And that that's it. That is all. Those are all four of my my uh, my actions. Mm -hmm. So so now let's score those moment tiles. Yeah. So I have yellow, red, blue. So it's one, two, three of them. Wow. So Eighteen points. Eighteen points. Nice. So eighteen plus thirty-four, fifty-two. I think so, yeah. Okay, and then this one right here, I don't think I can score this. Uh, Blue, green, red? No, because I don't have too many reds on here. The three reds that we just talked about are the three that just scored. There's no other reds on the board. Oh, that is unfortunate because because you don't score this, it stays on your memory bank. Mm -hmm. And if blue is your aspiration, that's not that's you one don't less. Get the five points. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but I do get this, though. Yes, yeah. you do. You do get Let's that. Let's not forget that. That was well earned. <laughs> okay, so I have two moment tiles on my memory bank. Let's do this one first. Sure. Or I guess let's do this left to right. So this is yellow, red, and blue. And I think I only have one of those. Yeah, which the one is you this. just created. Yeah, I just created it. So that's six, six points. Six points goes into your bank. Yep, so it's to 62. This goes into my area here. And then this is uh, four points for every red and yellow only. Nice. And so I have one, two, three of them right so there. That's 12 points. That's so 12 points. Wow. So it's going to be 10, 11, 12. So 74. Right now it's 52 to 74. 52, 74. Hmm. And then that goes away. Oh, that's that. So we are going to uh, score our threads for the final time. Yes. Go for it. Okay. You've so I've made all I've made a bunch of threads. Let's, <laughs> let's do it now. So I okay. have this yellow thread. One, two, three, four times two. So that's going to be uh, eight points. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, so this comes in go here. Go to sixty. Mm -hmm. And this one goes there. Then I have this green one, which is one, two, three, four times two. So another eight. Another eight. Okay, it so goes it's there, a and there, and I created a core memory here, which we'll talk about later. Nice. Uh, the next one I have is this purple, one, two, three, four, which is times two, eight. Ooh, you are making threads. I'm trying. Nice, so you're at 76. Eight. Okay, and then I have the big blue one that we were talking about. This so is, this is going to be it for me. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times one, two, three. 24. So 24, and then that creates another core memory here. Wow. Almost one here, and then another core memory here. You are exact, you are at exactly 100. Okay, so. 100 this, to my 74. 100 to 74. Yeah, that was, that was good. <laughs> <laughs> my threads aren't that impressive. Do you have any threads? I, I think, do. I think that was all my threads. I don't think I have anything else. Oh my God, I messed up so bad. You didn't put your threads together? I ruined my blue thread. I you forgot about it. You undid your okay. blue thread. Don't lose track of what you're trying to do. That yeah. is my big advice. <laughs> I was supposed to have another blue right there. And uh, that's that's going to take oh, away my 18, 18 points. Yeah. Oh, I'm done. But you did create a 10 with the uh, the purple. All 10 of my purple. Oh, yeah, the 10, 10 is better 10 than 10 nothing. is good, yeah. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 2. So that is 10. So now I'm at 84. All right. Got to take the points where you can get sure, them. Sure, yeah. Uh, it has to be this one. It has one. to be that one, yeah. Yes. And I believe I've made a yellow thread as well. Mm -hmm. It's going to be one, two, three, four. That's it? Yep, four times two. Times two. So that's eight. And this goes in here, which is so unfortunate. I was yeah. one short. And this goes yeah, here. Yeah, you needed a blue right here to score that one, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. This is looking bad for me now. <laughs> it was looking so okay for me. <laughs> so okay for a while there now okay. it's looking bad all right all right so core memories okay. you now have a, a few or a couple yes so um i have four uh-huh plus one five plus four is um nine 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 points nine points gosh so 109 109 and i just have <laughs> one two two three. Oh, there three yeah, yeah you're right three three, mm -hmm. <laughs> three points one two three so before final, final scoring, the score is 109 to 95. 95. Okay. Okay. So 14 points. I'm worried. I know there's a lot of blue in there. If you really do have the blue aspiration, but that is it. We have reached the end of the game and we are going to go into our final, final scoring, scoring, which is just our, um, 
aspiration tiles. Yep. So would you like to reveal her at the same time? Okay, sure. One, two, three. Blue. I'm red. All right. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's good. Okay, so you go ahead. Okay, so blue. I get one point for every um, blue that's in here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, I believe. Yep. I get two blues that are outside on the core memory slot. So that's another six. So a total of 11 there. Okay. Yep. So you are at uh, 120. Yeah. Okay. 120. All right. And then you get five points for each of these flipped tiles that you were able to score um, that contain blue. So I have one, two, three. I have three of them for 15 points. 15 points. Your final score is 135. 135. Okay. Oh, I have to beat 135. Ooh. All right. So uh, I have red mm -hmm. as my, as my, uh, aspiration color and so i have one two three four five six on the inside seven eight nine ten yep is what that's gonna so you be broke 100 you're at 105 so 105 of my moment tiles my cherished moments i have one two three wow four five oh my god 25 points did you do it no <laughs> oh my gosh so close <gasps> oh it was that blue that blue that blue Okay. Wow. Good job, Mimi. You had so many <laughs> of those red things. Ew. I was not keeping track. I'm disappointed. Oh, anyway. Sorry, final score. Final score was Naveen with 135, 135 to 130. 130. Wow. Five point difference. Good job. Thank you really you. pulled it at the end there. I was really trying wow. to get a, a big multiplier on my threads. Well, you did it. And I was trying to just uh, survive. I'm <laughs> so. impressed. I'm disappointed <laughs> in myself, but I'm very impressed. Wow. That was, that was good. Five point differential. Yes. That you was crazy. You cannot take your eyes off of, of your plan. That's, that's, that was, that was interesting. I think it was because, you know, when the moment tiles, um, when they're out there, you kind of like look for which ones you want. And then your brain thinks like, okay, well, if I get that one, I'm going to do this on my yeah. board. But if I don't get that one, that means I'll probably get that one, which means I need to do this on my board. But you totally forgot so, about plan A while yes. thinking in that mindset. Exactly. So, and yeah, so that is a big risk. Somewhere along the lines that, that blue just like left because I was so focused on the purple thread mm -hmm. that I was like, Never mind the blue. And then you see the scoring criteria. You're yeah. like, well, okay, if I can do this, this, and this to get the scoring criteria, then right. I can turn that into, but oh, I forgot the blue. And then yeah. you're also trying to balance like which of my four uh, memory bank actions do I not need, mm -hmm. right? Like how many memory tiles doing that. Yeah. am I going to have at the end to cover? So yep. anyway, so that that's is vivid memories. Vivid memories, yes. It is currently on Kickstarter. There is a link in the description below. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, you can always click the link there. But if you have any questions about how the game is played or anything that you saw today, feel free to leave a comment down below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.